Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? I hope everybody having the best day that they can. Happy New Year. I hope your holidays was good to you. To me, it was okay, but I did have a lot of things going on. But finally, I got the two pieces here to finish my um, PC build, which if you're following me on social media, I was a couple weeks ago, I was forced to upgrade. Um, we'll get into that more after the intro. Like I said earlier, I was forced to upgrade. Uh, one evening, I was editing some videos, and my computer just turned off. It came back on, but it wouldn't boot up. I took it all apart. I tried to get rid of different power supply. Nothing. The board just would not boot up. The board was done. I think it was related to some problems I was having earlier December, which was with the uh, Corsair braided cables. Uh, we seated them after um, some trial and error trying to find out what was wrong with it and the PC booted up and it worked okay for about another two weeks um, after that um, but at that time I didn't know it was the cables until I got the new motherboard and I was trying to use it with the um, Corsair braided cables it would not boot up I tried it with a different power supply it booted up so at first I was thinking that I had a um, bad power supply, but the Corsair uh, power supplies are built pretty good. I, but I guess not just not the braided cables. Uh, the power supply does have a 10 year warranty. So I remembered uh, receiving cables um, did the trick the first time. So this time I was like, fuck it. I used the um, original cables that came with the power supply. And then the computer booted up normally with the new motherboard. So, uh, I did decide to get more um, sleeved cables, but just not from um, Corsair. I decided to get it from Cable Mod. Uh, later on in the video, I'll give you a um, closer um, look at the cables. But I did decide to go with a um, workstation board. Um, WSX299 Pro Second Edition. Uh, I went for this board for sorted reasons, but first, you know, usually I always get a deluxe board. It's X79 Deluxe, X99 Deluxe, and I was gonna get a 299 X299 Deluxe board, but it had two issues I ran into. On um, this edition, it had one less PCI slot, which I needed. Uh, for right now, I need it for these two graphics cards, um, my 10 gig NIC, and my um, what's that called? I can't think of it. Um, my um, capture card. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. It's capture card. So I need at least four slots that will be available after using these two cards. But in the near future, hopefully, I'll be. Get uh, be able to get a 3090. Right now, I just refuse to pay the uh, with regular prices. I wasn't too keen on the $1,600, so I was told the hell they're gonna pay double, cause they're selling right now for them $3,000 to $4,000. That is not happening. But like I said, I got these two pieces in so I could put the graphics cards in because the uh, PCI, the PCI. I, layout design is a little bit different than the uh, previous board I was using which was the X99 Deluxe. Uh, it has some, it had uh, more space in between the cards than this board does. It also was um, triple um, graphics cards but it had space between the first and second graphics card and the uh, second and third was uh, stacked with no space, no stock spacing but this one all three cards would be no spacing. So um, I measured with a um, caliper, I believe that's called. It had like uh, 15 millimeters in between the um, cards. So I got these. These are exactly 15 millimeters. But these wasn't my voice first choice. Actually, to be on the safe side, I got some of these uh, aqua pipes. This is from 16 to 22. Got a couple of these. No, I wanted a couple of these. I said shit. 
just in case, you know, uh, this was I was gonna go with just in case, you know, it's a little off, I need a little bit more space, I can get it out of this. But for some reason, these came from the exact same places. These came early. I got these today. I ordered these first. I got one of them. I don't know why they split the order up. But I got one of them yesterday. And the other one's coming in a week and a half. <laughs> I don't know why. But I have been having a lot of little issues around the holidays. Like yesterday, um, I should say early this morning, uh, I had a small fire in the kitchen. Um, some wiring went bad. Uh, this is a very old house. I have upgraded the wiring. Instead of replacing the um, old wiring, I left it in place because it, it was going low voltage. All this is doing is the lights and the refrigerator. That's all it's doing is the lights and the refrigerator. And my TV. Uh, last night, um, my TV started flickering and the lights in the kitchen started flickering. I'm like, what the fuck? Then I started smelling a burning smell, then the power went off. Uh, I was like, what the fuck? But I found out early this morning, and it was the wire that burned up. So I pulled it out and replaced it. I just barely got finished with it. Then the mailman ran. And I got my fittings. Actually, I'm pretty tired. But fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this shit together. I'm, uh, I'm cool on not using these because they are silver and they would kind of uh, be a little mismatched. But I was willing to uh, deal with it because it was coming. It's supposed to be coming before these. These came a week early. Let's put that over there for so I won't lose it. And these are actually black. They match um, the color theme of the system. So this here is my uh, GPU loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Remove this tube. Remove this graphics card. Put the block back on it. Put these in between it. Cut this down to go into the second graphics card. That is the plan. they won't roll away. Earlier it rolled away and fell behind my desk. And I'm gonna use this bowl here to catch the water. Also, I'm uh, gonna get some more 90 degree angles for these uh, fittings here to drain the loop so they can face outward. It'd be a lot easier draining the loop and do the servicing if the um, drain ports is facing outward instead of down. But I ran out of fittings because I had to use them in, in this system um, to get these pipes in. I did kind of me messed up on a um, bend. I could fix it by shaving this off so it could up some more, but I'm saying it's in there, it's not leaking. Fuck it. <laughs> my bending skills went down. I had a hard time with this, but this is simple. And I had a hard time. And in my previous um, configuration, it was a lot more bends, a lot more complicated. I did it very easily. Uh, I guess I was in kind of. Um, time crunk I really want to get the system back up and running because I haven't played no games I haven't streamed I haven't made a video for a while or nothing uh, but yeah like I mentioned earlier the Corsair uh, cables that um, I believe that um, fucked up my system uh, they only have a one year warranty I wonder why could they fuck up after a year but I will give it um, this. It did last for about four years before I had any issues. Uh, let me open it. Pour the pin so the water will actually drain out. If I don't, it won't drain out. I, I gotta be careful because I gotta put this water back in here because I ain't got no more distilled water. And I really don't feel like running to the store to just get some. And so far, I see this little speck in it. it. Ain't nothing serious. I can turn this out. Okay. Let me go ahead and just close the port. Mm, put this over here so it will not waste. I 
do tend to have um, butterfingers. I'm removing these cables. Like I said, these are the new uh, cable mod. But they only came with one six pin. And actually, that's plugged up here into the board for extra power for the PCI. These are actually are Corsair cables. And I had to use uh, some of the standard cables for the second graphics card. Because the uh, kit only came with uh, three sets of eight uh, power um, PCI cables. But like I said, I'm really not that concerned about it because I am. I'm uh, planning on placing these cards as soon as some cards come available. That's the only thing that uh, stopping me from upgrading my graphics card. I was going to upgrade my graphics card before I changed platform, so because I was kind of worried uh, of bottlenecking, but not anymore. Of course, they had to care that for me, allegedly. I, it may have been something else, or this may have been that time for that board to go, but I, due to the. Uh, problems I was having with the cables, I kind of believe that uh, the cables are related. Mm. This is the screwdriver I was going to use to take the um, card apart, but I got to get you in and get that PCI slot. Let's get out, unlock it so the card will be removed. But first I got to remove this. The card ain't coming out before I, that come out. I'll try getting it in with that there. No, no. Put this here so it won't fall. Uh, that, oh, yeah, here's my paper towel. Rather safe than sorry. Put this on top of the polish supply so it won't get wet or the cables get wet or my desk get wet. And I won't stop announcing it like that. Okay, that's there. So let me loose this. A little water did come out. Very little. But I do have to take this cord out as well, come to think of it. If I just put some more paper towel down. Oh, I need a little bit more paper than that. I'll probably cut this video down in post. Let me put this under here. And I see why Carrie Holzman does it uh, warranty any computers um, or do any type of stuff like this custom loop for his client because it is um, quite cumbersome and we'll look at that water and you know how people are they have a uh, tendency to fuck with shit they break it and they want you to warranty it I used to do custom loops for people um, it just got too uh, hectic because I had to uh, you know have a contract so um, you know, let them know. I warranty my work if it um, fell due to something I did wrong. But people want you to warranty shit that they did wrong. You ask them why are you in there messing with anything in the first place? You have no business uh, messing with anything. But they had a tendency to mess with stuff. Then they want you to warranty it. They for some reason they decide to take a loop, loop take it loose, put it back together wrong, then when they turn it on, they're using it, start leaking, and when they, um, computer, somehow it's your fault. And it is, send a soda to them. Go with, you can go with that, send a soda to them. But 
boat. There's quite a bit of water that came out of there, but luckily I had this paper towel. But it is kind of wet. Let me change it out. Look, I got my little trash bag there. Put some more paper there. Just in case any more water water come out. Okay, we got the paper towel there. Put a little extra. So we're gonna say. Like I said, we're safe to say how much this computer stuff costs. Because replacing this motherboard was quite difficult. Because I was going to do a direct uh, placement. Because I believe that the uh, CPU is fine. But it was so hard to find the motherboard. It was going for like ridiculous prices, five, six hundred dollars $600. So I looked into uh, upgrading to the next uh, platform, which is X299. I was able to find this board for four hundred dollars and get a processor for five eighty, I believe, because I just got the ten core. I was thinking maybe I should have got the um, twelve fourteen, but I said ten cores is fine, and it, it and it hits off. I can get four point nine on all cores um, before it gets to a temperature that I'm uncomfortable with. Once it go up to 100 degrees, I'm like, no, 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 no. Knocked it down to 4.9. It gets into about mid-95, 96, mid-90s. Um, but when I had all core 500 boosts, it was like 113. It didn't, it didn't thermal throttle, but that was just too high for my comfort level. But let me stop barreling and get this on, get this done. Put this over here. I do have to remove this card. Come to think of it. Let me put this one up first. I'm using my um pinky. Oh man. Oh. I'm using my pinky to bottom to um block this um I almost forgot. Forgot I have a um RG ooh, that's a lot of water coming out of there. Let me check that paper today. It's fine. I do have a RM, RGB um strip on this that I crazy glued to it and it's um cable managed in the back. So I had to um undo that cable to get that card out. I actually forgot about that. Let's see get to it let's see yes it does so, so I'm going to move this card see if there's more water in it yes it is this graphic card I took it um, all the way apart and get it in and you can see it's pretty much clean And this is why you shouldn't, well, so you will be no clear. And this is why you shouldn't use color coolant. Because it will stain your blocks and it's a pain to get out. On the other box, I had to take it um, all the way apart to clean this out. And it was pretty difficult to put the O-rings back just right. So I had a hard time doing it. So that's why I didn't do this block. So now that's why I switched over to... Um, just distilled water and these uh, fittings that I'm using are D plugs they come apart just like yeah, they come apart just like that when I put the cards together they just push together that's it I decided uh, against going against getting a bridge like I said it's really not worth it hopefully by March Mm, hard to come apart. 
it's a little dry, a little deep. But uh, yeah, it comes to part two. Um, like I said, I really ain't tripping. That's why I didn't get no bridge. I could have got a bridge because uh, Swift Tech still sells them. They're not that much. They're only about um, 20 bucks. But the shipping is 20 bucks too, so that's 40 dollars. And they only right there at Pico Rivera, but they don't allow um, wheel call or customer pickup, whatever you want to call it. They don't allow that. So, but I, like I said, um, I'm gonna upgrade these cards as soon as possible. Can I? Mm. I need a pair of pliers. And a pair of pliers haven't fell on the floor out my toolbox. Convenient. So, let me do this plug in. Oh, man, what I'm calling a plug in for this fitting. With this little stop plug to come out. Okay. Let's put this here. These part of the fitting, I'm just gonna. These part of the fitting, I'm just gonna screw it to the block. Put this other one in there because I do um, run them in parallel. It's just like that. So let's sandwich the other card. Put this over here until it's needed. Now I can move this card. I wish I had a, um, I should have ordered it, but I didn't. I would have needed that, need it, need it, but it's something I kind of want. Right now, I'm kind of a little bit low on funds. And I want to keep, you know, like, like what happened earlier this morning. If I had no, um, extra cash, I would have been in a very bad spot. So right now, I do have the money to get a uh, VME drive, maybe a two terabyte for uh, $300 or something, but I said, no, I'm just going to wait. I just want to keep some money on the back burner just in case something happens. Now I'm going to install this block. Um, so I'm going to take out, uh, can you see it? Ah, you really don't need to see it. I don't know how to do blocks, right? I'll probably just cut this part out. But uh, this is going to uh, put the um, block back on it. It's very simple. It's not anything hard to do. It's not that uh, video worthy. But it's been done many times. And this, and this is the old card that being done. Nobody care about these old cards anymore. Nobody put blocks in these old cards. You put them on them when they need Luckily, I still had the um, fan, the fan um, straw. I didn't throw it away or nothing. Oh, I've been asked out until these plugs came. I've just been on one graphics card. I guess in case you're wondering um, what graphics cards that these are, they are on um, the 970s. That's why I'm using two. Uh, not exactly for gaming, because most games only use one graphics card but but when I um doing video editing or uh, rendering this um second card does come in handy it uses it now I can see a little bit of water on this card not a lot but a little bit what if it Nothing that um, that caught the pop, but it's on the outer edges and the and on the stroud. I just want to make sure I do everything like I'm supposed to. I don't want to cut no corners. Cause like I said earlier, 
it pretty much damn near impossible to get a graphics card at a reasonable price. You won't pay four or five thousand dollars. Yeah, you probably can get your graphic card all day. Just remove all the screws you see. These screws near the uh, front of the car or the back of the car, how you want to have look where the uh, I.O. is. They got little nuts on them. They kind of pain in the ass to um, get off and put back on. That's why they actually missing on my car. I didn't put them back. The car still work fine without them. But if you're a professionist, yeah, you might want to have them. For me, I don't give a fuck. I ain't feel like putting all that effort. Okay, make sure there's no water. This one, this one like on the edge of the car. Won't make no difference. You wouldn't sort it out or nothing. But I just want it off there. The way my luck been going, yeah. I had no plans on, um, Upgrading this computer. No plans at all. Until those cables did me in. Allegedly. I don't want Corsair to get mad at me and come after me for slandering their good name. I see I removed all the screws. I thought I had more left. What I don't all I know do is separate the um uh, PCB from the cooler. I was just twisting it a little bit side to side. It should come free. But be careful the wiring. I'm plugged the GPU, GeForce logo, and unplug the fan. Uh, make sure I get all the. Um, Just, um, what do you call this? Thermal pads. Make sure I get the thermal pads. Uh, I would um, replace them if I need to, but I just recently replaced them with these blue ones. But these are not the um, standard um, pads that actually comes with the um, block. The ones that come with the block is were all. Uh, Blue, I mean not blue. They were on um, gray, and I replaced it with these blue ones. Just put these in. Uh, especially careful to make sure all the party memory chips are uh, making contact. Outside by the screw, so it's covering this one. Boom. So all the thermal pads are in place. Make sure, double check. Couple check if you have to. For uh, contact and, and everything, and that is so. So let's see this to the side. You could, uh, best way to keep it keep uh, this together. But like I said, I'm removing all the thermal pads. There's nothing but this. But usually you would keep the old thermal pads and uh, put it in a Ziploc bag. That's the best way. But. Um, uh, well, I'm going to put this in. I just put it right here on top of my UPS. Let's sit there. Uh, let me get a um, piece of paper. Just a little piece of paper here. And just wipe off some of the um, thermal paste so I won't, it won't be too much of a big mess. Because I'm going to apply more fresh thermal paste. 
luckily this um, thermal paste is uh, non-conductive um, because one time I did use something that was conductive and uh, after uh, putting the uh, PC back together it wouldn't boot so I'm like what the hell so uh, I took it back apart I said the only thing I did was just start the block so I cleaned up the thermal paste added uh, just a little at that time then the uh, computer worked I forget what brand of thermal paste that was well, I, I know it was white that's the only thing I remember it was white but this one is gray like normal thermal paste I'm just going to clean up the excess okay that's enough this is my little trans bag uh, block, let me see. Use these pliers to get this out. You know it's going to be tight. Because after a while, even though I ain't put these in that tight, but after a while, after use, they became that tight. And then you remove this um, plug fitting. Snug, not overdo it, it's slightly snug. That's it. I put the other half of these on deep plugs on the bottom side of the car. I hate the way how these um, blocks are made because the good looking part of the block is facing down, you can never see it. So that's why I wonder why I got clear. I might as well have got black. But that's enough, I got grass. So this one goes in. So all I do is, let's see. Just sandwich the car. So y'all can see it. Sandwich the cars together. Like that. And I'm going to block the camera for a little bit to install it. <sighs> or maybe not. Let's see, get this in there. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to um, use the light bringing it closer so I could um, light up these PCI slots. I uh, see it was a good call for me to get these uh, D plugs. Everything fits. I'm able to use my um, that's a hybrid that came with the board, the hard one with the black PCB looks good plus these fittings match the system better by being black these D plugs with a godsend at first I didn't even know these existed I don't know how I didn't know but I just didn't I tried to going through um, Amazon looking for something that would fill a 15 millimeter spot and they came up left out so I could put this one back without modifying anything but this one had to be cut shorter that's the plan from the beginning just to cut it shorter without making too much of a modification after the fact so I put this one back in and when I originally um did this loop this was the one right here that um, leak, actually leaked. Because at first it was just 90. But I had to add a um, bend up here at the top to take stress off of this joint here, which was causing the leak. So let me make sure they pressed all the way in and tightened. 
again, you don't have to use the strength of Hercules, but make sure they snug. That's all. Same here. Make sure they snug, hand tight. No, you, no reason to use tools. So, like I said, this bend is fine. Uh, the motherboard uh, six pin is still plugged in all the way. This is the piece that has to be modified. Because now, it's a little too tall. And it looks like you can cut. I'd rather cut not enough than too much. But if I did fuck this up, I do got plenty of tooling left over. Because I did buy um, two boxes, which had six in it. Perfect. But before I install it, use the deburring tool. So this, so it won't cut the O ring, and a little bit. Might need a little bit more inside. system and this time I got one of these to make it easy hopefully stick it in that was she said let's stick it in now fill this up This one, so I can fill it up all the way to the top. But um, I'm about to get the power plug. Move this bag. I got to get the power plug and you know, I'll plug it in and cycle it. Usually, you want to do this with the pump only and nothing else connected. But since I do know with this being full, it's enough for the water to start circulating. button. Let's see system starting to boot. Watch it for leaks. I should have put some paper towel down, but I'm pretty confident. Sometimes, oh, I don't want the system to boot. Turn the system off. There's a lot of air in the pump. Let that clear out. Turn it back on. Now you see the water dropping. So, because there's a lot of air in the pump preventing it. That's why you gotta look out for it, but since that, the air is out the pump, you can see now it's circulating, and it drops half. Actually, now the system is actually booty. That's a good sign, ain't it? Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, subscribe, like, and share this video with anyone who could benefit. But if you feel that this video is not quite up to par, Dislike this video, leave a comment letting me know what I did wrong. I really would like to hear from you. Also, you can follow me on the social medias. The links are in the description.